In this video, we will see what are scope of variables, why it is important, uh, what are the different scopes available. Okay. So, scope, as the name suggests, is the existence of a variable in a region. Okay. Or you can say you have defined the variable in the beginning of your program or inside a function. So, how those variables can be accessed basically defines its scope. Okay. So, while accessing variables and its values, this scope is really important. So there are two scopes basically scope of variables in Python, local scope and global scope. So we'll understand this concept using examples. So let's first go around local scope, then we'll focus on global scope. So local scope, you can say, as the name suggests, when we define a variable in a function, its value can only be used inside its function. Why? Because since we, since we define that variable inside that function, the scope remains inside only. Okay. The value of that variable, we can only access from inside the function, not from outside the function. So the name local scope. Let us see an example quickly. So we'll be running our program on PyCharm ID. For that, let us create a new project. Go to file, click on new project. Herein you can see name the project. I'll name it Python scope of variables. Okay. So project will get saved here. Python scope of variables. I'll click on create. Okay. So here is our project, I'll right click and directly create a new Python file. Let us name it demo. I'll press enter and a Python file will get created with dummy.py extension. Press enter. Here it is. We have created our program. Let us now first focus around local scope in Python. Okay. So hash is used to add a comment. Let us now write a code. I'll directly create a, so we haven't covered uh, Python functions till now, but it's easy. For the example, I'll explain. So to create a function in Python, we use def keyword. So within the demo function, I have created a variable. Now I'll just call the function. That is the function name is demo. So I have called the function here. Okay. And this is our function definition. We just created a function and we added a variable value to it. So we can access this value inside the function only. Okay. Let me right click and run the demo run a function. Here it is. The output is hundred. So this is what I have shown you local scope in Python. You cannot access this value a outside the function. Okay. So to see this, what we can do, I can just add So now I'm printing it outside. Okay. Not inside the scope of demo function. Now when I'll call the demo function, it will show an error. Okay. It is already showing an error. Right click and run demo. Okay. Name A is not defined. Okay. Name error. This is name error. Why? Because we have assigned the value of the variable inside the function, but we are accessing it outside. So this will throw an error. Okay. Now I'll just comment it. Okay. I'll just again print it here again to show you that there won't be any error now. Right click run demo and there won't be any error hundred. Okay. So this is how we can work around local scope in Python. Now let us focus on global scope in Python. Here it is. A variable has global scope if it's created outside the function and accessible from anywhere. So this is different from local scope. Herein we will create the variable and assign the value to it outside the function so that we can access it anywhere in the entire program. Let's see an example. Okay. So now I'll create a new program, right click new Python file. I'll give it a name demo two, let's say press enter and demo two file got created. Now we will work around global scope in Python, global scope in Python. Okay. So herein we have created a variable and added value 100 to it. With that we have created a function. So we have printed this variable inside the function. But we are focusing on global scope. So I can print this value anywhere because I have declared it outside the function. Okay. That is global scope. Now I'll just print it again here. Okay. 
now let me call the function again okay again i can print it here so we are accessing it three times it's a global scope it won't show any error right click and run the demo run demo 2 demo 2 is our file name now you can see three times hundred that means there is no error okay why because we have used the same variable name inside and outside the function the value gets assigned twice that is from outside the function and inside the function now guys let us see how we can change the value of a global variable so we saw that we have declared a variable and accessed it anywhere because it was a global variable but we can also change the value of a global variable using the global keyword okay so the following is the syntax you just need to write the global keyword then the name of the variable you want to change the value of that's it let us see another example okay let us create another example click on right click new python file i'll mention the name demo3 press enter okay now change the value okay so now we'll change the value of a global variable for that let us create a program so we have mentioned a variable and assigned a value this is having global scope okay now i'll create a function demo name now i'll use the global keyword okay and assign a new value to the global variable let us print it a now let us call the function and again print it okay now i'll right click and click on run demo okay so miss the colon colon here it is both the values are having 10 because we updated the global value from a is equal to 5 to a is equal to 10 using the using this keyword if you want to understand it in a better way we can mention this like this like inner uh, like outer okay this is our outer value and the following is our inner value the following is an inner value because it is inside the function and we are printing the outer value again but the outer value changed but the outer value which should be 5 change it to 10 why because we updated the entire global score from 5 to 10 okay so when we ran it we are only shown 10 10 two times even inside and outside we changed the entire global scope using the global keyword so guys in this video we saw how we can work with scope of variables we saw local scope global scope as well as we also saw how we can change the value of a global variable using the global keyword thank you for watching the video